Hello, hello, and welcome to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. I am also one of the trainers with Notary Educators, which includes myself, Kimmy Nunnally, Angela Johnson, and Alexis Franklin. We each own our own very successful notary businesses and teach notaries in all 50 states to be great and grow their own business. We will discuss general notary work, apostilles, ink fingerprinting, and the duties of a notary signing agent, and much, much more. For all of your notary needs, please visit notaryeducatorsllc.com. We hope you enjoy the show, and we wish you much success. Hello, hello, and welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. How is everyone? I will wait for you to notify a few people. Hello to the podcast listeners. Hello to those who will watch the replay. It's a cold day out there, so let's see if anybody joins me. Either way, I'm going to do the video, so welcome, welcome. It's just always better if I have somebody with me. Where's everybody at today? We'll give YouTube a few minutes to notify people. Today's topic, though, is going to be about digital um, notary journals, pros and cons. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Digital notary journals. Hello, everyone. How are you all? How's it going? Today, we're talking about digital notary journals journals what is going on how's everybody doing hey facebook let me see can i I, you know what i'm not going to be able to see you unfortunately on facebook because i need my phone for my notes so put your name in there hello slash who are you so i can say hi properly okay or come over on youtube for a full experience because i'm flying solo usually i have somebody else checking facebook how's it going today I did not have time to send out the email alert, so I'll just um, put the replay. Hey, Marion, how's it going? I'll put the replay in the um, <clears throat> email later on, okay? So today I'm talking again about digital journals. Do you all have a digital journal? Any curiosity about using one? I get a few questions about it. I don't personally use one. I like the old-fashioned pen and paper. But I might use it one day. Before we start our discussion, I'm going to say, hey, Marion, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you found us too. Yes. um, So for those of you who may be new, you may not even know what a digital journal is. So as notaries, we keep a journal. We keep a record of what's going on with our trans. I always say transactions, but our notarizations. That's because I come from a banking background. But um. No, I don't. Okay, you don't use one. Yeah, I find um, most people don't use it, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it a little bit because I do get the question sometimes and I just said, well, we'll just talk about it for a few minutes. So um, again, a a journal period, either digital or paper um, bound book is to keep a record of what's going on. If someone asks you what you had for breakfast or lunch last week is always my illustration. You won't remember. So it's the same thing when you're doing notarizations. If you don't record it, you will not remember what happened, okay? I am going to do the video per uh, subscriber request um, in the next couple of days about what to record in the journal. I'll make sure I have enough time to send out an email because I want to make sure everyone sees that. I just didn't have enough time to do that video today or live with you because it's going to take us a a little while to do it. So uh, we'll get right into it though really quick here. Hold on one second. I got a note from a client. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. I had a uh, message from a client. So I can hang out just a few minutes longer today. My 630 appointment just canceled. Hold on. So sorry. This is live and I am actually working. One second. One second. Sorry for the silence. You shouldn't have silence, but I am actually working. All right, let's do it. Okay. 
So back to the journal. So you want to have a journal, though, like I was saying before I received that text message about my cancellation, that um, you want to have a journal just in case your um not just in case but while you're out there notarizing documents it is your your mental record your physical record of what happened so in my journal a few things that i write is of course the name of the client the date and we're going to do a in-depth on this in the next couple of days i'm going to do a whole video um whole live about it so you can ask a few questions but you write your pertinent information okay so now the question is are we going to do it live or are we going to um are we going to do it digitally rather Hey, Isaiah, how's it going? Are we going to do it digitally or are we going to record it in the old-fashioned journal? That's our question. So let's talk about the pros first, okay? Hey, Nate, welcome, everybody. Welcome to those who are joining us. Today, we're talking about uh, digital notary journals, which is better or pros and cons. Um, if you're using a digital journal, and I'll ask that question in a few minutes, um, so we'll get a few more people to uh, respond to the poll. But let's get into some of the pros of using a digital journal. Now, I personally do not use one. My state doesn't even require me to have a journal. So let's start there. Before you decide on what kind of journal you're going to use, make sure your state, what your state requirements are. For some people, you don't have any like me. I don't even have to have a journal at all. But Notary Educators team and Kimmy, we always teach. We are going to have a journal because we're professionals. Yes, we are. I don't care what the state says, because <laughs> a lot of states do not require a journal. Can you imagine? They don't even require a journal. You're out here notarizing documents with a dollar value of two, three hundred thousand dollars, and you don't have to keep a record. So even though your state says you don't have to, best practice is to always have a journal. So one of the pros of a journal digitally is convenience. Okay. You can take it anywhere. You don't have to be lugging around this big old book. <laughs> so that's the main thing is convenience, right? The next thing is, is searchable digital records. Of course, it's really quick to find what you need. You go to the search bar. If you're looking for a previous client, you just put their name in or whatever. You know, it's really easy to search where sometime when I'm using my paper journal, my, my book, I have to flip through 50, doc, 50 pages past comp clients to find the right date. You know, so um, anything digitally is normally going to be a little bit easier. The echo friendliness of it, echo friendly, the reduction of paper in the whole universe, right? Some people are very fanatic or very in tuned with the um, echo friendly stuff, you know, save the planet. And that's a beautiful thing because we all want to live, right? But if that is part of your cause, then that may be something else you want to look into having a digital journal journal uh nate says i think regular journals here in nevada yeah so whatever your state says and if some of it's going to be personal preference we're always going to do what the state says okay as far as having a journal if there are requirements you want to meet their state requirements if they don't require you to have one then we're going to have one okay best practice hey gloria all right um bg boosted says hey kimmy i'm from the bay area california hey haven't received my stamp or journal yet, but I've been following you for a while, looking forward to getting started. Yes, I would highly recommend get my book, Start Your Notary Business in the State of California. So you can have a whole overview of um, what the notary business looks like, um, different opportunities. It goes a little bit about marketing. I cover a little bit about everything in that book, how to start your business, literally A to Z, okay? That's where I would start. And then, of course, we would be more than happy to help you with your training. I know California does have a state training, but we have a lot of California students just because even though they have the required training, it's just not the way we teach. It's just not. We get you ready to go from the moment you finish that class. OK, and it's not a whole lot of hoopla in there. We give you exactly what you need. Um, Marion says, I have the good old paper and pen. I do, too. I do, too. So let's get to the next step. Uh, next um pro number four the reason why people may want to use a digital journal is the enhanced security so you know when anything digitally now they do have um like usually the security certificates and all of that to protect it and you may be encrypted you may use a password so you're the only person that can open it you know what i mean so there are some pros to that with my journal short story really quick uh one time i lost my journal <laughs> 
<laughs> it wasn't really lost, but we left it on top of the car when we left the subdivision to go to do a job. We did a job here and my husband put it on top of the car. Don't ask why. Poor thing. And we got to the next appointment and I didn't have my journal. And I was always, I'm like, always have my stuff because I put my bag exactly the way I have it. You know what I'm saying? I always have all my stuff in my bag. I have my pens, my journal, everything. I never am scrambling, trying to piece it all together at the last minute. I'm always prepared. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready, right? So we get to the next appointment and I don't have my journal. So I was like, oh my God, where's my journal? So I ended up just writing it on a piece of paper and I was going to transfer the information when I got back home. And sure enough, we got back home and it was still just laying in the street. It was just laying there. And I was so grateful because <laughs> that could have been disastrous. You know, everybody's information is in there. And I felt absolutely terrible when I found out what happened. So now I always double check myself, my stuff, you know, where is my journal? Make sure everything is in my bag. So the enhanced security might be a reason why you would want to have a digital journal. You know, like I said, you might have it encrypted or password protected so no one else can use it. Now, number five reason I have. Now, let me know if you guys have any reasons um, that you want to add to the list really quick about pros to using a digital journal. If you're using one, put it in the chat for me. I'm going to read it. Um, number five, though, is automatic backup to prevent loss of data in the event of a system crash or technical issues. And that's what I was just saying. So when you have something digitally, you can always usually, usually kind of back it up. But um, in my case, if I lose that journal, the paper one, it's just gone. That's it. I have no record of anything. And again, my state doesn't even require me to have a journal. So sometimes if I'm out and I'm writing something in my journal and I accidentally forgot to write maybe, let's say their phone number, which I never do. But let's say I forgot to write something. Um, I'll do, I, I, it's not a big deal unless they need it later. An attorney will call you guys. Believe me when I tell you, I have been um, not summoned to court. I've never been summoned to court. Let's not even talk it up. But I have been called by attorneys to um, determine uh, or verify who the who the witnesses were to a will signing. So attorneys will call you. I've been uh, several times. I've had that happen. Several. And I had to sign an affidavit that I was the notary several times. So you must have a journal in some form or fashion. Isaiah says, I never heard of electronic journal unless it's through a service provider, such as Notarize when you use their platform. What app is this? So it's not an app. There are plenty of companies that have e-journals now. And I'm going to talk about that as far as the cons in just a second. Yeah, it's not an app. They may have an app, but this is not, um, I'm not talking about a specific app. But it's, it's not just for remote online notary. You don't have to have a uh, remote. On, you don't have to be a remote online notary to use an electronic journal. OK, so let's talk about that. I'm going to wrap up the um, the pros really quick again of using a digital journal. And then we're going to talk about some of the cons. OK, so the pros, the, the pros to using a digital journal are the convenience factor. Again, you can take it anywhere, any time where you need it. It's searchable. For example, if you need to find Mr. Jones on April 15th, it's much quicker in the search bar than using your paper journal or book like I have. Echo friendly. That means it's reduction of paper. Save the planet. OK. Enhanced security. It might be encrypted or password protected. Whereas like I was given telling you guys what happened to me earlier when I lost my journal. Anybody could have found it. You know, that was terrible. And automatic backup is number five. So you don't have to worry about what I just mentioned to losing your journal because usually the company has a backup or you could back it up to something else, the information. OK, and you can um, print like, for example, if you're no longer being a notary for some reason and you were using a digital journal, you can uh, request sometimes for that company to print everything or maybe they can send you a file to have everything printed. Um you know, you print it yourself or they might print it for you for a cost if you needed everything like eventually paper. So um, now I'm going to get to some of the cons, though, of having a digital notary. And this is just my opinion. I don't even use one. I'm just going over some things that I have thought about and um, I just wanted to share with you. So your experience may be completely, completely different. Uh, let's see. Marion says, can you can you upload info from your paper journal to this journal for ex extra protection? 
I was going to talk about that really quick. We can go ahead and hit it right now. So in my case, I'm thinking I had that on here as um, as a con that you may want to do paper and do digital. That means you have to transfer the information in two places, though. So you wouldn't be able to upload from your book to your journal. You have to physically type it in there. Now, you could do the reverse, maybe, you know, from the digital and then print it and then write on it or add to it. But you wouldn't be able to take it from the book and upload it in a digital form unless you're going to scan each sheet. You know what I mean? Now, if y'all got another way out there, drop it in the chat because I can't think of anything right now. So now let's go over some of the cons I thought about when it comes to digital journals. OK, technical issues. OK, a lot of us are not that technically savvy in the first place. <laughs> I put myself in that category. So you out there trying to maneuver with your client, trying to get your money. And now you got to figure out how to do this journal. If it gets stuck, if it crashes, the internet go down, the data gets lost, anything can happen. Okay. <laughs> when it comes to digital stuff, I'm the first one to say, uh, yeah, not the kid. <laughs> Start with them and then make me last on the list to learn anything technical. Okay. So number one is technical issues. Number two is software compatibility. A lot of times you will find that if you're using an Apple product or a Samsung, and y'all know we ain't even get ready to have that discussion, but all apps are not compatible or all software is not compatible. My friend actually was trying to send me um, an invitation list for something today. Funniest thing ever. She sent it literally five different ways. She has Apple. I couldn't open it to save my life. So finally, she had to send it another way. And then my husband took and converted it into an Excel spreadsheet. So compatibility software wise can be a whole situation. Now, if you know how to handle it and maneuver it, this may be good for you. OK, security threats. Number three for not a con for maybe using a digital journal is a security thought, a security threat. Rather, it could your journal could be hacked, malware or other online security threats. What if the whole company is just taking over and now they got all your information, your client's information? It could happen. The cost implications is the next one that I have listed here with digital notaries. Again, the initial investment for software, maintenance, you got to pay a monthly fee, you know, and the monthly fee, we talked about taxes yesterday. If you did not see that video, go back and check it out. I talked about 20 different tax things you want to think about for your business. Um, if you have to pay, you will have to pay monthly, not if they're not doing it for free. So it may be $12.99 per month to have a digital journal. And then you probably have a maintenance fee, you know, so you got to look at all the different fees attached if you want to have a digital journal, because usually people have another fee on top of the fee. Is there a um, monthly? Uh, we know there's a monthly fee, but is there a maintenance fee in addition to that? Is there a fee to maintain it if you're no longer a notary and you just want to leave your information with them? You know, all of that you have to look into. And that was number um, four, which kind of goes into my... Number five would kind of be a wrap up of a few things, the monthly fee. What if the client goes out of business? And then what if you're trying to have both a paper journal and a digital journal? You know, if you're trying to do both. So it's just a few things that I wrote down to think about. What questions do you all have for me today? I'm going to recap really quick the cons and then I'll take your questions and your thoughts. So some of the cons I have for a digital notary are technical issues. If you just don't know how to work um, digital stuff, you know. If your internet goes down, now you stuck. Always have a plan B though if you do use digital. Software compatibility, it just might not work with your phone. The app security threat, somebody could take over the whole company. Malware could be hacked. Cost implications is another con. You know, how much is it gonna cost you monthly? Maintenance fees. If you leave the um, if you leave the notary notary industry, how much are they gonna charge you to maintain it? Okay. So those are all some things that I think you should think about when you are preparing to decide if you want to use a paper journal or if you want to use a digital journal or e-journal. OK, let me get some of your questions. You can feel free to put a few questions in there. I can hang out about another 10 minutes and we can chat it up. Let's see. So Isaiah says I never. OK, we talked about that. Let me see. Can I find one for you? Because I did kind of Google um e-journal let me tell you what company popped up now i'm not recommending them because i don't know anything about them i've not done any research but i did see let's see mm, 
Actually, I'm going to have you do your own research on that because I just put an e-journal on YouTube. But um, yeah, I can't even think of a company because I don't do it. I don't use it. So yeah, just put an e-journal. You'll find somebody that has an app or something. All right. So let's see. Marion says, can, okay, I think I already answered that question. Yeah, I did. Can you upload it for extra protection? So do you all have any questions? While we, uh, while I wait for a few of your questions, I'm going to tell you something I saw in the news. Unbelievable. Just before I came on. So we talking about digital, <laughs> digital journals and everything. Oh guys, this might be a client. I am so sorry. One second, please. I'm actually working. All righty, they might have dialed me by mistake, y'all, because um, the first time they didn't answer, and then when I called back, they did answer, and they hung up, so I don't know. That being the case, we'll move back on. So anyway, right before I came on, I do apologize for the interruption, but this is live, and I am working. <laughs> so um, yes, yeah, so I'm watching the news, and it was a story about this guy that went and bought. He bought one Tesla with fake ID. Because I didn't know Tesla the way you buy a Tesla. So according to the news report I was watching, you just upload all your information and then you go to the dealer and you show them the ID and they give you the car basically. And then they wait for the funds to transfer some kind of way. That's the short version of it. <laughs> so I'm sitting there. So this guy, he did it, got away with it. He came back about a month later and tried to do the same thing. Well, by now the money has cleared or has not cleared. And they're like, the um, staff recognized him and called him out. So it's so funny how he could just do all of that, you know, willy nilly and anything I go to the store for, they want my blood type fingerprint. You know what I'm saying? So it's so funny how illegal crooks and stuff can get away with <laughs> how crooked people can get away with some of the craziest stuff. And you be trying to do the right thing. You can't get away with nothing. All right. So anyway, what questions do we have? Any questions today? If not, I will go ahead and wrap it up. We won't prolong it, but I did want to go live and talk about this journal for those of you who may be interested. I'm going to actually come back probably tomorrow or Friday, and we're going to go actually go over how to complete the journal, okay? Let's see. What else do we have? Anything else before I head out? Give you a few minutes to think about it. While we are waiting, don't forget we do have um, the online classes. The schedules are up. Notarize like a pro, uh, long signing agent, apostille training. Check out my book, Start Your Notary Business. is available for all 50 states, including D.C. Um, how to start your business, as I was mentioning earlier, covers step-by-step -step how to literally start that business. It's no fluff. It's everything you need to get started. And then all the courses are on sale, 60% off. Uh, coupon code is WIN2024, W-I-N-2024 is the coupon code, okay? Any more questions? Going once, going twice. Let's see. Okay. Well, guys, on behalf of Notary Life with Kimmy, I'm Kimmy. <laughs> I'm going to say thank you. Let's see. Okay, we got a question. Marion says, do you suggest to start with an agency? As far as notary signing, uh, Marion, is that what you're referring to? Notary signing agent agencies, loan signing, is that what you're referring to? And if that is the case, I recommend that you make sure you know how to properly notarize a document first. So you may need to check out my notarize like a pro training. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you might need to check out the notarize. Like, do you know how to properly notarize, Marion? Let's see. Do you know what an acknowledgement is, a giraffe? Do you, do you know how to do your notarial duties? Let me know. If I call you right now and say, hey, Marion, can you go over to the um, nursing home and handle this job for me? Is that something you would be able to do? You do? Okay, very good. So since you know how to properly notarize, 
then yes, you can start signing up. How about your loan signing agent duties? Are you familiar with that? Pretty comfortable with the documents and, and everything like that? You don't have to be a pro at them, but do you feel kind of comfortable walking in that space? Because it is a little bit different than general notary work. It is a little bit different. If you have not checked out my specialty general notary um, course, check it out. Because that's the course I go over and talk about. And you can buy the book form also, how to navigate nursing homes, hospitals, jails, um, ink fingerprinting, proctoring. I go over everything in those book, the book and the course, okay? So if you don't feel 100% comfortable navigating the loan signing space, Marion, I'm going to highly recommend check out Alexis's um Check out Alexis's course, uh, either self-paced or the live training, um, Long Signing Agent A to Z. And one more question for you, Marion. Are you have you already um, been in and a like background checked and taken that forty-five question test with them? Let me know that yes or no. Have you been background checked by the NNA? For those of you who are just joining, I was getting ready to leave, but if you have a few questions. You can go back and watch the topic for today, which was digital notary journals. But if you have a few questions, I will hang out. Um, yes, Marion, do you have your NNA background check is the question. Let me know the answer to that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Frank. How's it going, guys? Don't forget to hit the like button, please. Are those on the replay? Hit the like button. Oh, my goodness, guys. Great news, great news, great news. I need to do a whole video on this. I probably went up when I finish. Yes, in New Jersey, so I don't, so I didn't have to then, but now it's mandatory. Yeah, so as far as the um, notary signing agent, Marion, in order to work with signing companies, it's going to be required 99% of the time that you are background checked and have taken the notary signing agent quiz over at the NNA. If you have not done that, our training with Alexis will prepare you for the test with the NNA. But those companies want to see that NNA background. Okay. Hey, Frank. Keisha says, how do I get your books? It just takes me to your picture, but not to order. Hey, Keisha. Yeah, just when you click the link, it's going to take you to the Amazon store and you just click the store, click that picture and it'll open up the books. It'll open up the books for you. Um, what I may do is be able to go in there and put the link exactly to the books. But right now it just takes you to the Amazon store. Um, yeah, that's a good idea, Keisha. Keisha, that's a good idea. I'm going to take a few minutes because it's like 51. So I have to go in there and do 51 times. But I will do that. But in the meantime, just go out there, whatever state you're in, Georgia, California, Alabama, wherever, just click the link and it'll take you to the Amazon store and then click that picture. It's going to open up the whole store for you with all the different notary supplies. OK, so that's how you can get the book. Um, oh, I know what I was getting all excited about. I have to tell you. So now, guys, all the lives that we have completed on Monday nights, Notary Boss Up, all of those are now available on podcast. Um, now, they're not in any certain order, and they're not all there yet. It's about 87 of them. So YouTube has a podcast. We have regular podcasts, but YouTube also has a podcast selection. So you can go under um, Notary Life with Kimmy, go to the playlist, and go to the podcast, and you can hear different episodes that we have did in the podcast form right here on YouTube. So it's pretty cool because those are actually titled, most of them, what we're talking about. And it's a similar format. So that is something that I just um, found out about, actually. So it's always something new to learn under the sun. You are so welcome, Keisha. And then Miriam says, I have not taken the test, but I'm ready to background check through TSA and regular background. Uh-uh. Um... Marion, unfortunately, you can definitely try that, okay? You can definitely try that. But 99% of your signing companies are going to want that background check from the NNA. I actually did a whole video on that. So go to my channel and put in background check and you'll see it. But um, you can try it though. You can try it because there is a couple of other companies that do background checks. But I always tell people, go through the NNA and you can get the smallest package with them. 
Um, I'm not sure what your state costs, but you can get the smallest package and then um, then do your training with us. OK, or you can train with the NNA, but most people still have to double back to us because we just have a way of explaining things where it gets you going very simply. It's not complicated. You know, it's not wordy. So, uh, yeah, we we know how to teach very well. I'm, I'm proud to say that we all do. Unique T says, hello, and thank you so much. Do you know Ron? I don't do Ron. Hey, Unique T, I don't do Ron. However, I have about six or seven videos on my channel about Ron. So check those out before you start down the Ron rabbit hole. And that way you can learn a little bit before you start spending some money, okay? All right, Marion. Yeah, you're welcome. I wish you the best out there. I do have a few videos too on how to sign up with signing companies. So check that out, notary resume, all kind of stuff. So just kind of play around with the channel. There are over 600 videos. I try to cover just about everything. Um, and then for your training, we'd be more than happy to assist you with that. All right, because you can't get everything in the video. You really can't. Some things you just got to talk it out one-on-one. -on -one. Ladera, what is up? It's been forever. How are you? How you doing, Ladera? Oh, thank you, Marion. I'm so blessed to be able to help you all. It's just one big circle, really. It really is my privilege. It really is. It's an honor. When I say it's my pleasure, it really is. Because I love all things notary, you know. I, and you guys may or may not know, but I actually have two other YouTube channels that I just started. One of them is about my weight loss journey, Healthy Life with Kimmy. And then I have a business channel where I talk all things business, like literally all things business. And sometimes I try to bring some of those videos over to the notary space. But um, check that channel out too. It's called Business Life with Kimmy. Business Life with Kimmy. Doing well, just working on giving back to the notary community. Mm -hmm. That's cool, Ladera. Mm -hmm. I know you always got something going on. That's great. That is great. And we appreciate everything you do too. We really do. Because there's not a lot of people that's willing to give information, you know. That's how I even started my channel. I'll say this, guys, and I'll get ready to head out if we don't have any more questions. Um, and go back and watch about the digital um, e-journal and stuff. But that's how I even started my channel is because a lot of people, um, when I was trying to start, I couldn't find anybody to tell me anything about being a notary in my state. And I was like, I know it's some money out there. Everybody's talking about this notary signing thing. It's something to it. And they kept saying, you can't be a notary signing agent in Georgia. You can't this, you can't that. And I couldn't find anybody to tell me to tell me that I could do it. So I was like, wait a minute, there's something to this. So I started researching and researching. And then I told Jeffrey, I said, hey, my husband, I said, I got I got something to say about this notary thing. I'm, I'm going to share what I know. And he was like, are you sure you want to do social media and, and this and that? And it turned out to be the biggest blessing for not only myself to learn, but also to share with others. I've been blessed to help so many people start their businesses. And when you're tight-fisted with information, uh, you don't have room to let anything in or out, you know? So I just don't believe that I have to charge you for everything, you know? I'm in a business, of course, and when I'm doing this, I'm taking away from something else, right? But, um, but yeah, but overall, I find even when I'm talking to you all, I make changes in my business. Like I just talked to, uh, who was that er earlier about the books really quick? Um, Unique, no, Keisha. Talk to Keisha about the books. I'm, I, that gave me a thought of something I need to change on my end, maybe to make it easier for my clients, for you all to do business with me, right? And that's the same thing that um, I always tell you, make it easy for your clients to do business with you. They shouldn't have to go to the bank and get an ATM. And, you know, no, you should be able to accept debit credit, debit cards, credit cards, have a way to process payments. That's all we teach you all of that, how to get that business started. Lerdero says, also taking advice from you and others and kicking off a channel too. Oh, cool. What's your channel about, Lerdero? If you can share here, what is your channel about? BG Boosted says, thank you, Kimmy. I did my oath on January 5th and just waiting for the manufacturer to send my stamp. I will definitely check out your online courses. Thank you and blessings to you and your family. Oh, thank you so much. We we need the blessings too. Blessings to you guys too. <laughs> thank you, BG. We wishing you much success. What state are you in? 
Did you tell me what state you were in already? Ladera, what is your core um, channel going to be about? Let me know if you want me to share it. If not, we you can tell me offline. It's totally up to you. But if it's a channel, it's going to be public. <laughs> and you mentioned it in the chat, so you must want everybody to know. Oh, California. Okay, you did say that. California. Yes, California. My, nat my notary journey. Okay. Okay, we need more men out there telling their story. And I think you'll tell it from a positive perspective. Congratulations. What is the channel? If you want us to share it, I will. Um, yeah, Ladero, he's been with us for a moment. He's always willing to support whatever we do. And we definitely want to support him back. And he is very positive and encouraging. What is the name of your channel, Ladero? I'll give you that. Um, give you a little shout out right quick. If you want to come up right quick and talk about it, you can. Let me know. It's up to you. I can send you the link. I was getting ready to go, but my 630 canceled, so I have a few minutes. Do you want to talk about your channel right quick? If you want to, I definitely will let you come up. Totally up to you. I know this is part of the moment. Let's see if Ladera wants to talk about his channel right quick. Let's see. Let's see. Ladero, are you still with us? Still building it, the notary know-how Georgia. Okay, still he's still building it, but it's going to be called the notary know-how Georgia. I love it. I love it. Do you want to talk about it right quick, or you want to wait till it comes out, or what? I have steps, so... Oh, he has strep, very limited talking. Okay, no worries, no worries. So we'll get you later, we'll get you later. So anyway, in the meantime, guys, in the very near future, look out for Ladero's YouTube channel. It's going to be called The Notary Know How Georgia, okay? The Notary Know How Georgia, all right? Ladero, I hope you feel better, big boosted. We are hoping the best for you out there on your journey. We will see you soon. Everybody, I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. Marion, Unique, and Keisha. This has been nice. Hey, Frank, again. So I really appreciate everybody being here. Um, Nate and Gloria. Appreciate it. Isaiah. And I hope I got everybody. I know I got somebody on Facebook I did not get. So thank you for hanging out with me. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. But I'm wishing you all much success. Wherever you are, stay warm. The whole country is under a watch almost. <laughs> All right, so you guys be super safe. I'm about to go take me a hot bath and get ready to go to bed myself. All right, guys. Well, until next time. Was that too much information? But I am tired. I'm about to go. I'm tired. So anyway, we are human over here. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, until next time, you all be safe and many blessings to you all. Okay, bye. Thank you again for listening to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. We would love to be a part of your notary journey. Please visit us at notaryeducatorsllc.com for all of your notary training needs. Also, please feel free to join the Notary Life with Kimmy YouTube channel, where Kimmy has over 400 videos that will help you to grow and build a successful notary business. Until the next episode, we wish you much success on your journey. Bye.